Hey guys, my name is Shreyas and welcome to Simple Biology. Today we're going to be talking about more properties of water, just like how we talked about the hydrophobic interaction in the previous video. Today we're going to be talking about cohesion and adhesion. And cohesion and adhesion basically describe how water sticks to different things. Um, so first let's talk about cohesion. Cohesion is basically water being attracted to itself. And this again happens, all these things that happen all these properties we're talking about about water is because of its ability to hydrogen bond and cohesion also happens because of water's ability to hydrogen bond so basically what happens in cohesion is just that you see water molecules being attracted to itself and I've already done this in a previous video but again I can explain how that happens for you here so you can have one water molecule and the hydrogen atoms within the water, water, water molecule have a um, a partial positive charge and the oxygen atom has a partial negative charge and I described this how this happens in um, previous videos so you can go check that out and then there'll be another water molecule and then they'll be attracted because of a hydrogen bond and then there can be another water molecule then they can be attracted here and then there can be another water molecule here there's attraction there and on and on and on and basically all these water molecules will attract to itself and this is going to be, play a very important role in biology um, in later units we'll be talking about cohesion a lot uh, but for, for you to give for me to give you just a real life example of where this happens this happens in puddles if you think of a puddle or even if you just take some water and you just spill it across your table, right? The water does not completely sp spill. So let's say we have like a, um, like a bottle of water, you spread it across your table. It will spread out, yes, the water will spread out, but still when you look at the puddle, there will be this sort of um, this sort of like this hump almost like this. The water molecule, the water, pu the puddle itself will not completely flatten out to like an atomic level. The water will form this sort of hump, right? If you've seen puddles, you can like splash in puddles because the water has this depth. The reason why the water has this depth instead of completely flattening out is because the water molecules get attracted to each other. Instead of the water molecules just completely spreading out in this direction like this, instead of the water molecules completely spreading out in this direction the water molecules within the puddle get attracted to itself and that is because of cohesion now adhesion is when water is attracted to surfaces and again this happens because of water's ability to hydrogen bond um, adhesion is very apparent in test tubes maybe in chemistry you've seen this in test tubes water say we have a test tube here water will not be flat okay um, the water within a test tube will typically have this well it's a little extreme but it'll have somewhat of a curve like this okay and that's because of adhesion the water molecules are sticking to the side of the container here instead of instead of the um, let me draw another test tube Instead of the water just being flat like this, that's not what's going to happen. This is wrong. What's going to happen is that the water will actually stick to the sides of the container here because of adhesion. So that's an example of adhesion. So basically, water being attracted to different surfaces is adhesion. And cohesion is water being attracted to itself. Now, surface tension happens because of cohesion. And surface tension is basically how hard or how difficult it is to break the surface of a liquid. And this happens because whenever you have a surface water, let's say we have a pond. So we have a pond. Or a pool even. Let's just say we have a pool. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to really draw a pool. Let's just say okay, that's our pool. Okay. Or whatever you want that to be. Let's just say it's a, okay, let's just say this. It's just a cup filled with water. Okay. 
the surface tension is basically how hard it is to break this surface of the water right here. How to break how hard it is to break the surface. And um the surface tension of water, obviously all liquids have surface tension because surface tension is how difficult it is to break the surface of any liquid. But the surface tension of water is particularly high um, because the water molecules at the surface of the liquid will bond to themselves through hydrogen bonding. They will um and that's cohesion. So the water molecules at the surface uh, will display cohesion, and since they're all stuck to each other at the at the top of the surface of the water, it's going to be very hard to break the surface of the water, and th therefore it's going to have a high surface tension. So that's basically it. Cohesion, adhesion, and surface tension are as simple as that.